Yesterday, Jean-Pierre Dick was victim of serious damages, the kind you usually don't get over. Nevertheless, today, he's still in the race and keeps the doubt, confronted to a cornelian choice. But not the nicest of all sights. I lost my keel about 24 hours ago. The boat's like a bar of soap. We could capsize at any moment. So I either go on to Les Sables de Lune, handling the boat very carefully, paying attention, of course, to the Atlantic North Depression, or give up my third place here in the Açores. I have two days to make the decision. Hard decision, I can tell you. While Jean-Pierre Dick wonders about what to do, François Gabard has no further questions. Here's a nice sunset. The spinnaker's not out yet, but should be soon. The next hour? Knock on wood for the moment. Wind's still blowing. There's always air. I'm quite happy with this pretty looking sunset. The leader rounds the edge of the Azores Anticyclone Center following a route beneath the archipelago of the same name. The massive skipper should find a perfect angle to the wind that'll get him to Les Sables de Lune where he's expected on Saturday. To welcome Alessandro Di Benedetto will require a little more patience, the Team Plastic skipper sailing across Uruguay still leaking his wounds. I'm feeling much better now. Things are getting back into place. I'm going to show you my best profile. The other is still swollen. For the time being, I'm on painkillers, cream, and very little rest. Because on a 60 feet, while racing, that's impossible if you want to move on. And here, for example, I'm speeding a bit like François Gabard at 60 knots average. Oh, there. Makes me laugh. Hurts my ribs, so I'm going to stop saying foolish things. 